Welcome to the channel. I have a very easy DIY project today I want to share with you. So hold on tight. All right, guys, I have never really been a very religious person, but my window screens are very, very holy. All right, so first couple things that you need. So let's make a list. So this is probably one of the easiest projects you can do. Uh, I say that, but this is my first time doing a screen repair. So, um, but I think it's pretty straightforward. So I think first things first is cut the screen close to the pattern. Now, <clears throat> kind of wondering if this is going to work because this screen that I have, I've I had this for a while, I had it sitting in my storage room. It's, um, it's a real thick material. It's um, pet proof. So it's really tough, but it's really thick. I don't know if you can see that. Really thick, so I don't know if it's going to uh, work properly, but we'll see. I may have to get a, a thinner screen, aluminum or something. Um, this stuff here I picked up, it's the little, I don't know what you even call that thing, the gasket, I guess. This one is 0.125 inch by 25. So I think it's too thick for, um, for what I need. And the, uh, the, uh, the store, Home Depot, didn't have anything thinner. So I'm thinking I can reuse the existing uh, gasket. So. I want to do the worst one first. This one's coming apart here. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's first cut this out. I want to cut it uh, longer than the uh, than the old screen at first. Once you get it in, then you can trim it down. Out there. Should really be wearing safety glasses to do this. You know, you don't want to lose an eye or anything. Your eyesight's very important. So safety first. Wear some eye protection here. I got my glasses, my sunglasses. There we go. All right, I got the basic layout here. This way. I'm gonna cut it down just a little bit more. Got this little, this little curve top here.
All right, like I said, this material is a lot thicker. I don't even need it, any pet protection screen, but I had it laying around, so might as well. All right, so let's pull out the old gasket. Carefully, not to break it. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty tight. I don't know if this screen's gonna work. I guess it's a good idea to try to remember, maybe put the gasket back in the same way. I don't know if that matters. All right, so there's the old screen. <laughs> All right, let's hope this works. May have to make some relief cuts around the, uh, the, the edges there where it turns. I think first I'm going to try to stuff the screen down into the, uh, the canyon or the, the groove. Yeah, that's the right word. The groove. In the groove. Okay. All right, I can't wear my glasses. I can't see. I can't see. There we go. All right. So far, so good. I think I'll go this way with it. All right, I got it in there. Uh, real quick, what I did, this little tool here, one side has like a, a little groove. It's close. This side has a little groove wheel, and then this side just has a, uh, a uh, sharper edge to it. So first, I used this one to get it set in place. Once it's all set in place, then I went to this one and really shoved it in there. Shoved it in deep. 
So, as you can see here, can you see? Um, yeah, that looks good. So now I'm gonna trim up all this, trim off all that crap. So this one on the back of it, it's kind of filthy. So I'm gonna clean it up first. I got rubbing alcohol mixed with water. I don't know what the parts are. I think you just gas and eyeball it. Uh, old toothbrush and something to dry it up with. Just getting any particles out of there that might, might, um, infringe on the sitting of the uh, screen. All right, so now we gotta put the screens back on. This is for the side door here. This one was the worst to get off because of this little gasket here. So hopefully it goes back on a little bit easier. I had to get a couple screwdrivers and pry it out. <laughs> um, I may have to do this indoors and close the door so I have something to pry against. I think that makes sense. Maybe. Alright. This should work more better. So now the door can't go anywhere, it can't swing out. I was having trouble. So now, let's see if I can get this sucker in here. Hopefully without breaking anything. Ah. Sorry, I know you can't see much, but you can see my best side. <laughs> the back of my head. <laughs> oh, fuck. Come on. Get in the place. Oh, I gotcha. The corners are really tough. Yeah, Ooh, it's gotten darker. The sun must went through a cloud. Got the one corner in. Now I get this corner. I'm just kind of trying it in there. There we go. Yeah, it definitely went in a little bit easier. Oh, that's a lot better. This one was really bad. It had, um, the screen was popping out and it had big holes through here. So this is a lot nicer. It's a lot tighter. The old screen was, you know, flimsy. All right, uh, one down, one, two, three to go. Same thing, actually the, uh, these ones are a little bit easier. Throw this one on real quick. Uh... Whoa. Whoa. I 
may have, may have spoke too soon. There we go. Bam, that looks nice. That one also was pretty fucked up. All right, so there you have it, guys. Very, very simple little DIY project. Uh, save yourself some money. I don't even know if there's companies that specialize in that. Probably like an RV place or a handyman or something like that for your house. Anyway, do it yourself. Very simple. You just need the proper tools and um, just take your time with it. See you guys. Oh, and one more thing. Your life, your way. See ya. Holy. <laughs> Knee slapper right there.